Welcome everyone to MS Project Lesson 1. Today we're going to create a base project schedule. We're going to define a project calendar. We're going to enter tasks and task details. We're going to organize tasks into phases. We're going to link tasks. We're going to document tasks. And we're going to check the project's duration. So let's get started. Let's open up project. We're in the Gantt chart view. You can see right below the field uh, task name is where we're going to enter our tasks. But before we begin entering our tasks, we have to make sure that project is going to schedule our tasks automatically. So if we go down into the status bar and we click on the new task manually schedule command, we can enable the auto schedule command. And now it is enabled. Now we want to set a date, a start date for our project. So we want to click on project, the project tab. We're going to go to the project information command in the properties group. And we can see our start date is Sunday, March the 16th, 2014. We want to change that date to 1-10-2011. And we want our project to start on that particular start date. Our calendar is a standard calendar. And I'll show you as we move forward how to make a specific calendar. But right now, we're just going to use a standard calendar. And our priority for this project is 500. And if you remember the first video, you saw all this information populated in the backstage view. Well, you can populate this information on the project tab in the project information command as well. Click OK to save all your changes. Now we want to go to the properties group on the project tab. Click on change working time because we have to make sure we put in any non-working days. We see this calendar is set to March 2014. But our project starts January 2011. So I'm going to have to scroll all the way up to January 2011. And here it is. January 17th is a holiday for our company. So I'm going to put in holiday. And then I'm going to click out into the white area. You can see that January the 17th is in red and it says exception holiday. Now if I click in a different area, you can see now it is green, so it's in the exception day. So project will not schedule any resources on that particular day. Now I want to make sure that this holiday is carried through for a few years. So I'm going to click back into the spill where it says holiday, click on the details button. A dialog box will appear reoccurrence pattern it's yearly it's every third monday in january and i want to make sure this goes out to at least uh 2018 so i'm going to put in 2018 and click ok and then i'm going to click ok to save all my changes okay now you want to save this document so you want to go to file save and you can save this document anywhere on your computer that you like, put in the exact file name of your project and then click save. I'm going to click cancel because this is for demonstration purposes only. Now we want to enter our task. So I'm going to put in task one. And just in case you need it, as I do, you want to make sure you know that spell check is F7. Okay, task one, and I'm going to press enter, which I did. Now, by default, project always schedules one day with a question mark. You can make this particular day any day that you want. If you put it as a zero day, it is a milestone. So I'm going to make this first task actually um, a summary task. I'm going to make task two, and I'm going to put in my next task a 
is task three. Now, when you're creating these tasks, these tasks should be very clear and very precise. Anyone looking at your project plan should know exactly what the tasks are. So make sure that your, your task names are very clear and very precise. Okay. And I'm going to say that task two is going to take at least five weeks. So I'm going to put 5W and enter. Okay. You can see to the right on my Gantt chart, my bar, my my bar went out. Let me just undo that and then redo it so you can see how small it is for one day. Okay. And then if I redo it, you see it goes out for five weeks. I can click on the view tab and click in the zoom group and click on entire project so that I can see exactly how far this bar is going. I'm going to say that task three is going to take six hours. So I'm going to put six in the H and press enter. And you can see that it's giving me six hours here. Okay. Now, I want to make my task one a summary task. So I'm going to click in task two and task three. I'm going to go to the task tab and I'm going to click in the schedule group. I'm going to click the indent. And you can see that task one is now a summary task. You can, it indicates that by the minus sign. So if I click on this minus sign, it turns into a plus and all of the subtasks rolls up into task one. I can release it. Also in my Gantt chart view, you can see the summary task has this gray bar. If I click on it, I didn't really want to click on it, but I really want to get the tool tip up that says summary. So there it is. It says summary. If I Scroll on the blue bar, it says task. Now, what I want to do is I want to link task two and three together. So I'm highlighting task two and three. I'm going to the schedule group and I'm clicking on link. This shows a relationship between the two tasks. When task two is complete, task three will begin. Now I want to enter a note in task three. So I'm double click on task three. My task information dialog box will appear. I'm going to click on notes and I'm going to say call Denise on Monday. That's my note that I want to leave for myself and I'm clicking OK. If I take my mouse and scroll over it, I can read my note and I can see in that area that it has a yellow note there for me. It looks like a sticky note. All right, now what I want to do is I want to um, check the project duration. So I'm dealing with the project, so I'm going to go to the project tab. I'm going to want to check the project duration, so I'm going to the properties group and I'm clicking on project information. I'm going down to my statistics command, clicking on statistics, and it tells me the start of my project is 1.10.11 and the finish is 2.15.11. And it tells me the duration is 25.75 days. Right now it has no cost and we haven't started work. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lesson.